Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another graphic, graphic, not, no it's not a graphic novel, it's a comic book. Welcome back to another comic book review. I've only done one, so, I mean, Sisters of Sorrow, that didn't go over well. Um, I, just, I'm just, I wasn't a fan of it. But anyways, we're not talking about that. We're talking about something good today. We're talking about, uh, first off, I gotta tell you guys, I received this full review for free from the wonderful Josh, I'm gonna mess this up, Josh, uh, Jeb. Jeb Kuga, Jeb Jeb Kuga, I'm I'm so sorry. I screw every I screw up everybody's names. I promise you. So please don't take offense. Um, let me know down there in the comments below <laughs> how to pronounce your name. So he sent me a trio of books, and he's a damn tease. I thought this was like a full run, but he only sent me the first three. So I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna buy the next couple as soon as they come out. I thought they were already out. They're not out yet. Okay. So, uh, the, the first issue is, well, they're all Bubba Hotep and the Cosmic Bloodsuckers. Um, this is adapted, I'm not sure if it's a story, a novel, or what, Joe Lansdale. I know Joe Lansdale wrote uh, Bubba Hotep and the Mummy or some, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, let me know how wrong I am. Also, I'm going to prepare you guys right now. I have never read anything by Joe Lansdale. I know, I know. Put your caps back on. Stop raging in the comments. Calm down. It's okay. I will get to him eventually. It's just, I didn't even know he existed until about five years ago. And usually when that happens, uh, it takes me, a, you know, at least five years to actually get to somebody because of my to-be-read list. I'm not saying there's anything about him that I don't like. I just never got around to it. I will soon. This isn't written by Lansdale. This is written by Josh J J Jab... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, the artist is Tad Galush, Galusha? Gal Galusha. Um, colorist is Ryan Hill. Letterer is Tom B. Long. Editor is Joe Hughes. Hughes, Hughes. Sorry, I couldn't even get that one right. Uh, publisher is Greg Goldstein. Goldstein? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so the first issue, um, <laughs> it right off the bat, the... <laughs> the <laughs> It, it had me chuckling with the uh, very second, very second page. Uh, there's some great uh, horror content also, but one thing that I noticed through throughout this, uh, the first three issues, is that this is funny. This is really funny. You have to have a certain, uh, certain type of humor. I guess uh, it's crude. It's uh, dirty, nasty, all that stuff. But it is, it is quite hilarious. This is uh, issue two. Yeah. I think my favorite of the of the covers is the first one, this orange one, probably because I like orange. Um, but I think I think it's the best one. If I'm gonna have to say least favorite, it's it's this one. Even though I like the covers, the the, the colors, this one. I took out number two. I didn't even talk about it. Um, this one. I don't know. I mean, it's it's all right. The uh, the colors are nice. It's just uh, Elvis kind of looks like. The, uh, he looks like an imposter of himself, so I don't think that one's very accurate. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So, uh, let's see here. Th this, the last one is the most action-packed. I blew through this in, like, maybe five minutes. Uh, there was very little dialogue. The second issue is very dialogue-heavy, um, and I enjoyed, I, I gotta say, guys, I enjoyed every single minute of it. I mean, there wasn't, I love the artwork, I love the crass humor. I loved the, the the gore. I loved the monsters. I loved everything. Um, and you said you you read the title and it says the cosmic blood suckers. I was worried about just basic ass vampires. They weren't basic. Um, in fact, he did something that I I've seen something like it, something close, but for the most part, it was original. I would say it was 98% original. Um, because the one thing that I did see that was kind of like it, or read about, that was kind of like it, was... It was kind of iffy whether or not it was real. So, anyways, oh yeah, and Josh put a nice little note on the back. He said, E, I really do appreciate you taking the time to check these out. Thank you, your friend Josh. Um, so yeah, Josh is a great guy. He hit me up on Twitter, asked me if I wanted to uh, read, the, read the comics. I said, hell yeah. So I jumped, jumped on it. It's the, my first, my very first taste of anything Lansdale related other than the movie Bubba Hotep um, with I think it's Bruce Campbell um, and then o Ozzy what's his name let me know down there in the it's Ozzy something 
Uh, but uh, that that movie's quite fun. I think it's directed by Don Coscarelli. Probably screwed up that name too. But uh, the series so far is terrific. I really love the way that uh, the the last the last comic ended. And I don't want to I don't want to tell you anything about the story whatsoever because that's the most fun is not knowing where this batshit crazy storyline is going. Um, it's, it, it's got some drug stuff, some cosmic horror, some, some body horror. It's got all different kinds of stuff in it, and I really enjoyed it. Especially the fact that Elvis Presley is the, is the main character. That's just weird. You just don't see that often. I think the only thing I've seen like it is, uh, when Elvis makes an appearance in the Odd Thomas series from Dean Coons. But anyways, until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another comic book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.